So now that we discussed the two types of sigma tropic shifts, let's take a look at the following reaction that deals with a sigma tropic shift. So suppose the following molecule as shown undergoes a thermal 1,5 sigma tropic shift in which the H atom on the first carbon migrates onto the fifth carbon. Now, how many different products are actually possible? This is what we want to answer. So let's begin by looking at this molecule. So this is the carbon, the starting carbon, from which our H atom will basically migrate. This H prime is the atom that we're looking at. That's why we designated with H prime to differentiate it from any other H atom on the molecule. So it moves on to the fifth carbon, and so one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So this H prime will end up on this fifth carbon in the final product. The question is, what are the products that are formed at the end? So let's begin by uh, redrawing this molecule. So we have our molecule, we have this symmetry, we have the carbon here, the methyl uh, group goes on top, the H goes on bottom, here we have our H prime that goes on top, we have our ethyl group that points out of the board, we have the methyl group that points into the board, and we have our second double bond here. So in the first and only step, remember a sigma tropic shift takes place in a concerted step, we basically have a rearrangement of our pi bonds because this H prime basically begins to move and migrates onto the fifth carbon. So we have this error formulism. And when this takes place, we have a molecule that looks like this, that has a specific stereochemistry. So basically we have our, um, so as this moves up there, we have our H that points up, the other one, the methyl group points this way, and here we have our H prime that has moved on to this region, and we also have the following symmetry. So we have on this side the methyl, on this side we have the ethyl group. Now notice we have an H here, we have four different groups attached to this double system, double bond system. So we have our large group on this side pointing one way and the large group on this side pointing the other way and so this double bond is an E isomer. Now we can also form a Z isomer. How exactly can we form that product with the Z isomer symmetry? So let's look at this molecule one more time. So let's redraw this molecule and let's see how it can rotate to basically lead to the Z isomer product. So we have a double bond here, a double bond here. We have our um, methyl here, an H here. We have our H prime that points up. So this comes out of the board and the other methyl goes into the board. So, the question is, what exactly can take place here? Well, basically, this bond can rotate. If it rotates in a fashion so that the H prime ends up pointing downward, these two groups will rotate also, and we produce the following molecule. So let's draw what the final molecule will actually look like. So we have, so everything basically remains the same, except now, we have a slight rotation and this slight rotation will basically make sure that the product will be a different product. So if this rotates so that our H prime now points downward, then that means the methyl, the ethyl group will point into the board and the other group will point out of the board. So if we rotate this, this CH3 group will now point out of the board and this ethyl group will point into the board. And so now, in our reaction mechanism, if this basically migrates onto this side, this goes here, this goes here, the product that is formed in our 1,5 sigma tropic shift under thermal conditions will be a different product. Let's see what the product will be. It'll be different from this product, at least in a stereochemical sense. 
So we have a bond here, a bond here. We still have the same exact kind of thing going on here. We have the H prime, we have the H here, and we have our methyl group. But here, because this one goes here, this CH3 group will now point downward, and this will point inward like so. And so now we have the large group pointing this way, this large group pointing the same exact way. So now this a Z isomer. So we have an E isomer that is formed in which this double bond has the E isomerism. And here we have the Z isomerism, isomerism on this double bond. And so these two products will be different products stereochemically. And so we see that in our thermal 1,5 sigmatropic reaction that takes place within the suprafacial manner, within the suprafacial motion, uh, our two products that are formed are the Z product and our E product.